Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to deploy SSIS package to SQL Server. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to deploy SSIS package to SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SSIS package that I created in my last video, deploy SSIS package using manifest file to file system. So this is my video. You can watch this video if you want to see how I create this particular SSIS package. So maybe you can watch half of the video until I create the SSIS package. And as soon as you come to this point that the package is ready to be deployed, then you can continue with this particular video. So this is the simple SSIS package. What it is doing, it is loading a CSV file email underscore info which contains 1000 records to a SQL server table. SQL server table name is email and it is situated in the work database on the SQL Server 2019 instance and as well as on SQL Server 2017 instance. So I have two SQL Server instances installed on my machine. So for example, this is the SQL Server 2019 instance, this one. And in the work database, I got this email table. So right now, this table is empty. And similarly, in my SQL Server 2017 instance as well in the work database, I got the same email table. And I think this is empty as well. So both the tables are empty right now. And if you go to the properties of this particular package, so right now the server name is pointing to 2017 instance. Okay. And in this particular package, XML configuration is also configured. So for example, if you go to the package configurations and this is the XML configuration. So if you click on edit, go to the next. So this is the location of the configuration file. So maybe I can copy this path from here. And, and I can open this particular location. So this is the file config.dts config. So maybe I can open it in my Notepad++. So right now the value for the server name SSIS variable is the SQL Server 2017 instance. Okay, so if I will execute my SSIS package, so it should load the data to the SQL Server 2017 instance. Okay, so maybe I can just show you running the SSIS package so that it can load the data into the SQL Server 2017 instance. So the package ran fine. And if I select the data from 2017 instance, so I can see that 1000 records are loaded. Now let me just deploy this package to the SQL Server or you can say to MSDB database. Okay, so, so if you see the project file here, so the deployment model is the package deployment model. In case if your project deployment model is not the package deployment model, if it is the project deployment model, then you can just right click and just click on this one, convert to project deployment model. So if it is package, then you can convert to project and if it is project, then you, you can convert it to package. So it's kind of vice versa. Now because it is already package deployment model, so I can just go to the properties and in the deployment option, you can just make sure that create deployment utility is set to true. If it is false, you can change it to true and then click OK and then you can just right click and click on rebuild. So this will actually create the deployment utility. So as soon as the deployment utility has been created, you can just right click and go to the open containing folder. From here, just go to the bin folder and there you will find deployment folder. If you want to deploy this SSIS package to another server, so you can just copy this deployment folder to another server. And after copying to another server, there is a file here .SSIS deployment manifest file. So you need to just right click and open this particular file. So this file should be open in the package installation wizard and it can do the installation of the SSIS package to the SQL Server database. So let me open the SQL Server MSDB database where the SSIS packages can be installed. So you can just go here and you need to select the integration services here and then you, you need to give the server name and click on connect. So this got connected to the SQL Server integration services and if you expand the stored packages and so there is an option here MSDB. So in the MSDB for a particular package, you can create a folder. For example, I can create a new folder that uh, import email file. Okay, so my package will be installed to this particular folder. So I can just right click and refresh the folder. So I can see a folder here import email file. So I want to deploy my SSIS package to the import email file folder. Okay, so I can just go back to the installation wizard and I can click next. 
from the deployment options there are two options either we can deploy our package to the file system or we can deploy it to sql server so i will select sql server here and i can click next now i need to give the target sql server name so my target sql server name is sql server 2019 instance so i can copy the sql server 2019 name from here and i can paste it here now from the package path i will select the import email file so this is the import email folder where i want to install my ssis package to so i can click ok and now i can click next so this will be the location of the xml configuration file after the deployment so i can copy this particular location and maybe i can paste it in the notepad if you want to change the configuration later and now i can click next click next next and finish so now the deployment of the ssis package to the msdb database is successful i can just refresh the import email file folder and then we should find a ssis package here so this is the package that we got okay so right now if you check the data in the sql server 2019 instance so the data is empty in the email on the other hand on the sql server 2017 instance we got 1000 records so now let me just try to change the configuration file and set the server name to sql server 2019 instance so that I can just run the package from here and it should load the data to the SQL Server 2019 instance. So let me open this particular location. So this is the new location of the DTS config file for this install package only. And if I right click and open this particular file with the notepad plus plus. So the server name is 2017 here. I can change it to 2019 and then maybe I can save the configuration file and I can close this particular file. And now if I will execute my SSIS package, so right click on the SSIS package and there is an option run package. So I can select on this one. So the package will be opened up. So execute package utility got opened up and I can click on execute to execute the package. So if you scroll down, so you can see that the package got finished. So I can click on close, close. And now if I check the data in the SQL Server 2019 instance, so I should have the 1000 records loaded. So you can see that 1000 records got loaded here. So I think this is how you can install your SSIS package to the MSDB database and then you can execute the packages from there. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.